I get it. Everyone and their mom is talking about how talented the rest of this NFL got. You know, obviously the Chiefs got Sky Moore. Their defense got a lot better. I understand all that. Uh, the Broncos uh, brought back a guy uh, or brought in a guy like Russell Wilson, excuse me, uh, you know, trading for him, uh, the star quarterback and everything. They got their quarterback. I'm so happy. Uh, the Chargers, uh, another team in that AFC West who are, uh, honestly, they're going to be tough. They're, their offense is basically back. Uh, their offensive line is better uh, and uh, their defense is better. They're going to be a tough team. I get it. Everybody's talking about the offensive uh, talent that everybody else has added but can we can can people people please please just stop sleeping on the las vegas raiders offense i mean this offense is loaded loaded i mean you talk about just top to bottom you have two number one wide receivers in this nfl who quite possibly might have another three to four uh, good seasons left with Derek carr as the key cog of that offense like just scary uh you know and i gotta warn you guys i didn't have the chance to update my je- my depth chart today but i mean we'll, we'll we'll talk through it here we go so you talk about the fact again Derek carter quarterback fantastic josh jacobs at running back love it uh you know jacob johnson i mean fullbacks you gotta love them these days i still love fullbacks also uh darren waller at tight end foster moreau as well you got Devonte adams as well as hunter renfro as your number one and number uh one b ish wide receivers and then uh, i know brian edwards got traded but the point is uh obviously demarcus robinson guys like matt collins everybody else could step up for him I-, I love it but you know and then the rest of this offensive line however that pans out uh you know colton miller is in my opinion the only guy that should have a, a starting spot guaranteed at this point uh the rest of it is up for grabs whoever performs you get the spot so you know just looking at this top to bottom you know uh again i know some of these uh hasn't been completely updated i apologize for that but it is what it is at this point but just top to bottom this offense is ready to go it's got star power in Derek Carr and Devontae Adams and honestly I think it's I mean can we do we even want to touch on the fact of what they did in college I mean come on it's going to be lethal in the NFL so uh, this offense is loaded from top to bottom and we're not even bringing up the probably one of the most important facts you got at least two starters or at least two future starters in my mind in the in the 2022 NFL draft you talk about Dylan Parham who in my mind probably will be a 16 I meant 17 game starter here um, might take him a bit to get in the starting lineup i don't know point is he's going to start he should be a starter for a long time for the raiders zamir white is going to be the future of the raiders uh running back room uh for a long time for at least the next four years excuse me you also got neil farrell jr and matthew butler at defensive tackle uh and, and you know and Thayer Monford and Britton brown um just kind of rounding out this draft class but the the point still remains the same a stacked offense a defense that's retooled and it's just Again, I, I gotta give I gotta give a lot of profit or excuse me a lot of love. We'll, we'll say that uh, to the rest of the NFL. We talk about AJ Brown going to join the Eagles and Devonta Smith, Jalen Hurts, and all them. I, I love it. You know Hollywood Brown going over to the Cardinals. Love that as well. I think it's gonna be huge. But nobody in their right mind is talking about the Las Vegas Raiders offense, and it's a travesty. It's an absolute travesty. We're talking about an offense. I expect if the offensive line gets solved, if they bring in a right tackle or not for Alex Leatherwood, I don't know how that's gonna all turn out. That's kind of my only left question. My only question mark left excuse me uh but honestly i mean if they want to start bam olacini there as well i'm okay with that uh, as well but the point still remains that the raiders are looking really good right now i honestly offensively you the expectations surrounding them at least at least 25 to 28 points a game um, honestly they should be hanging 50 on everybody but you know at the end of the day it is a, a put up or shut up league so you know but i just I, you got to give love where it's due and i feel like the raiders are one of those teams that deserve a lot of credit uh, a lot of credit Dave Ziegler and company deserve deserve so much credit for what they've done in just a short amount of time uh, just being uh, at at the front office positions that they are. And I think they've done a fantastic job in their first off seasons uh, as being in charge of the Las Vegas Raiders. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Now down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Las Vegas Raiders offense being loaded.